Welcome back. Our next guests are a political power couple who once backed Hillary Clinton, but have since thrown their full support behind President Trump. They're even hosting a $5 million Trump fundraiser this winter. Because of all this, the two have become persona non grata in some circles and were just featured in the New York Times article titled How a Liberal Gay Couple Became Two of New York's Biggest Trump Supporters. Little tears streaming down their faces. Joining me now, the subjects of that piece, Bill White and Brian Newell. Welcome, gentlemen. Hi, Kenny. How are you? Thank you. Uh, I, I love the story. I think it's fascinating. Uh, Bill, I want you to tell me about <laughs> election night when you were over at the Javits Center waiting for the fireworks barge for Hillary's coronation. It turned into a funeral, and you drove to uh, midtown Manhattan to the hotel where President to be Trump was uh, celebrating. Did he embrace you with open arms? <laughs> uh, you know, it's a metaphorical thing. I actually did do it because I just could not believe how sad everybody was over there, and I understood it. Uh, you know, we had known the Clintons for, for many, many years, but we had also known Donald Trump. So I really am an American. I'm a patriot. Once our president is elected, whoever that is, uh, it's my job to get behind my president and to support my president and my country and uh, the good things that I know a new president really wants to try to achieve. So I drove over there and I actually saw a lot of my friends from New York because whether you're on the left, the right, the middle, mm -hmm. or the sides in New York, you usually know a lot of people. So um, that was more of a metaphorical you, you go thing. I drove where over the there. Party is. So, so now you guys have a yeah, higher profile sure. uh, in a new political circle. But it's interesting, Brian, because people in New York uh, tend to be liberal. They tend to be better off <clears throat> financially than most of the country, and they assume you think like they do. When people realize that, right. uh, that you two are Trump supporters, what has some of the blowback been in Manhattan? Um, well, I, I joked with, uh, it wasn't quoted in the New York Times, but I, I joked with Sarah, who wrote the article, that I felt like I was coming out again. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you know, people that have been friends of ours for 10, 20 years literally find out that we're supporting Trump and stop talking to us, um, which is disappointing. But at the same time, you know, we've met a lot of great friends that are Trump supporters and um, a lot of people that really are excited that we are. I've always been a registered Republican, mm -hmm. but um, this is not huge news for me per se. But. We did support her, and um, I personally was disappointed. You were with her. You were wearing the "I'm with her" shirt, and and yeah. she uh, she couldn't seal the deal. She couldn't get the <laughs> the job done, and it, no well, one. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, from the night that at, you know, speaking of the Javits Center, you know, she didn't come out that night, and I thought that was very telling. And I just exactly. the whole way the whole loss was handled, what put a bad taste in my mouth, um, but also. I think, you know, we're two years after the election. He's doing a phenomenal job overall. Um, he's appointed one of our dear friends as, the, uh, as an openly gay ambassador ger to Germany. And I don't really understand, you know, if we were having this conversation a week after the election, I would mm -hmm. get it. But There's two years later, I don't, understand what the <laughs> I don't understand what the big fuss is. You know, um, we're actually very pleased with the job he's doing, and I think he's just getting started. So, All right. Well, he, it, I think, Bill, we're, we've only got about 10 seconds left. Is he going to get reelected yeah. in 2020 with your help? <clears throat> oh, he's definitely going to get reelected, and we're going to help him. And i got to say one thing. I've known Donald Trump for 30 years. No president has done more for our veterans, our military, and supporting our law enforcement, and that's things that we really care about. We love the economy. We love being on Telling You. And thank you for the opportunity to Absolutely. say uh, we support our president and our country. I want to party with you guys. Thank you both so much for being here. <laughs>